It was an exciting day in Porter's La Prairie as the newest radio station, Country 93, hit the airwaves. Before the launch, local delegates and representatives of the station and Golden West Broadcasting took the time to mark the occasion with speeches. Program director Ryan Simpson explains that while technology and music may change, the goal of the stations remains the same. Well, today marks the birth of the newest member of our family. But however technology might change and no matter what comes next, our philosophy is always going to be the same. We want to provide content relevant to our community. We want to do that while partnering with our local businesses and charities and organizations. And we want to do that while we conduct ourselves in a professional manner. Meanwhile, Mayor Earl Porter says the new station will be a great addition to the community. I've been around Portage a long time and I remember John Awning was uh, the shy guy. That was way back. I hate to remember how far back that was, but we used to give dedications on Friday night, and that's how we got hooked on Sea Fry. But uh, the radio station has been great. It's been a great asset for our community and for surrounding areas also. And uh, we just appreciate all the hard work and the effort that's gone into the setting up this new station. So it's great for Portage. MLA Ian Wishart says he's pleased to see another station, noting the important impact of the addition. Congratulations, it's really a pleasure to have Sea uh, Fry and 93.1 uh, and, and, and the other stations here in Portage. It's a significant addition to our community. We all use it and it's a pleasure to have it here and it's an important addition to our community. Congratulations on the new station and keep on at it. Golden West President Lyndon Friesen says the new station will give listeners another option while complementing the music that's known and loved on CFRY and Mix 96. We think it's important to add diversity and more musical choices uh, to the communities. The more we can do that and provide, as Ryan said, that unique local service, we think that's what communities need and we think Portage is, pretty, uh, is going to be pretty happy with what we've uh, been able to create. So we did a lot of research. We know that this format is exactly what's going to match the community's interest for a new, diverse sound. And so we think it's a huge compliment to one of Manitoba's best and longest lasting great radio station, CFRY. Station manager Paul Harlan says there was a lot of work put into the launch and he's happy the day has finally arrived. There's a lot of people here in, in, in Portage in, their, in our workplace that have done a great job. Uh, they've worked a lot of hours. And we're real excited to be uh, to be launching here today, and our staff have, you know, done a wonderful job, and we have a great team here in uh, in Portage. After the speeches, it was time for the launch with Chris Thorstensen of Doc Walker giving the honor of officially kicking off the launch. Three, two, one, launch that station! We have left off. Reported online news, I'm Brendan Harris.